In the previous step, we learned how to install Oculus Integration SDK into our project. In this step, we want to learn how we can create a simple VR scene and export an APK from that and install it into our headset. All right. In this step, we want to create a simple VR scene in our Unity and export an APK and install it in our in Oculus headset. Okay, for doing that, initially we have to create a simple scene in here by new scene and for example this one with the 3D and camera and uh, the direction light, create, then save it, save as in the scenes folder and we call it level one right after that we have to add a, a prefab of the oculus ovr character for an implementation of the vr uh, sdk for our oculus headset for doing that we have to go to the assets folder oculus and the vr in the prefabs folder, we have access to the all prefabs of the um, several actions of the Oculus SDK. For example, in here, OVR camera rig, OVR cube map camera and capture prop, OVR hand prefab, OVR prefab con player controller. I propose to drag and drop OVR camera rig to our scene. Perfect. But before that, I want to see some sample scenes of the Oculus headset. As you can see, we have uh, we have several types of Oculus uh, sample scenes in the SDK and as you can see it has hand test hand test custom room and other types of the uh, Oculus SDK for example in here we have a scene OVR camera rig Let me to decrease the size of Gizmo to better see this object. As you can see, we have two meshes as a left hand and right hand, and two meshes as a left controller and right controller. It is in uh, childs of the in children of the OVR camera rig, tracking points and space, central eye anchor. Uh, it is the, for the base camera and uh, as a head of the uh, character in the VR scene. Left hand and right hand. In the right hand, we have OVR custom hand prefab and OVR controller prefab. And here, you can see all of these ones. But uh, it's better to know that uh, this is our main uh, hand prefab of our character. So it is the hand mesh and we can drag and drop any meshes of our uh, controller. For example, uh, control of Quest 2, control Quest 1 or Oculus Rift or other types of controller. So it's better to hide them and only duplicate uh, that uh, mesh of that controller as a child of OVR custom hand prefab. I want to do something cool. I want to open my scene and drag and drop level one scene into the here and drag and drop OVR camera rig into my scene and close the hand test custom scene without any saving 
Now we have our OVR camera rig inside of our level one scene and we don't need to have main camera. So I delete it. As you can see, we have left hand, right hand and central eye anchor. I want to do exactly that things I had explained in the past. So for the right hand, I want to copy the Oculus Touch uh, for Quest 2 right model past the child. Perfect. We don't need this part. And I want to hide the right hand for now. And I want to do exactly the same thing for right, uh, left hand, exactly like right hand. Uh, quest to left model, copy, control C, and pass as child. Perfect. As you can see, it is exactly the mesh of controller left for the left hand. Perfect. It is right hand and it is left hand. Okay. Now, the next step is I want to add some 3D models of robots into the room. For doing that, I want to do, go to the 3D, uh, 3D warehouse. This is my favorite website. Sorry. In this website, we can download any 3D models we want. Uh, for example, we write UGV. Perfect. And click on the models. In this scene, as you can see, we have several types of UGVs in here. And I want to see this one if it is okay. Yeah. At the polygons of it, it's too much. 79,000 polygons. You can keep it for now. And this one, for example, it is perfect. It is perfect for our test for now. 588 it is perfect now we can download the collide file it's done perfect now I want to create a new folder and call it 3d models perfect Right click in here and show in Explorer. Now I want to open the zip file and in the 3D models folder I create a new folder and I call it simple UGB. Copy the name and drag and drop this model DAE to here and change it to the simple UGV. Perfect. I close it and I wait for the uh, importing automatically the 3D model into the Unity project. It's done. It's ready to use. Perfect. Oh, it's too big. I wait for the rendering. Okay. For now it is good. And as you can see it has several 
children objects and also one camera we can remove it we don't need it I disabled the camera of the simple UGB now the next step I want to uh, download a room yes okay uh i think this living room is perfect for our test oh it's too much i can keep it for now or oh, something like this Oh, it's perfect. It's too low. Okay. And once again, exactly like how to download the 3D model here, I call it room, right? And open the zip file and drag and drop these files this is the 3d model and this file folder is all the textures of this 3d model room and room texture perfect now we can add them to our project Perfect. It is our room. Drag and drop a room inside of the scene. It's too big. First, I need to disable this camera because we don't need them. Okay. And I have to decrease the size of this room. Even more decrease. Okay, I think it makes sense. zero 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 and uh, the OVR camera can be anywhere we want in the first moment of our scene playing so I rotate it to this one and also we can click on the direction light and disable the shadows for optimization our scene Perfect. And I want to put uh, my simple UGB into my scene. I decrease the size something like this. Is it good? Perfect. Now, in the first moment uh, of scene playing, uh, my character instantiates in this position, and my angle will see this chair, this table, and this UGB inside of my room. All right. In the first moment, we don't need to see the hand meshes. I want to see only the controller. So. I disable the left hand hand mesh and right hand mesh only seeing the controller of right and left perfect 
It's time to export an APK and install it into our headset. For doing that, we have three ways. Oh, sorry, two ways. First, uh, we have to plug our uh, headset to our computer and export, build, and run. Another solution is we can use the Oculus OVR build build apk and build apk and run once you press ovr build apk and run or build and run it's try to export an apk and install into our into your headset automatically all right we are in the headset of Oculus and once we want to test our application after install in our uh, headset we have to come here apps as a default it is in all but we have to go to the unknown sources after that we can see we are robotic application in here come that mechanism that we are robotic you can see your uh, package uh, name in here as well okay click it perfect as you can see we are in our head uh, in our scene but the position of it was in the uh, bottom of our room and also the scale of our uh, room is too big we have to uh, change it as you can see with moving physically in my real room i can i can walk in my vr room as well and these are my uh, joysticks right controller and left controller Perfect. Let's come back to the Unity Editor and do some other actions.